ama ni ndo wano. When your partner is literally robbing you so I and they're but, not only robbing you you're of robbing your feelings from one pocket and emotions. to the other. No. <laughs> yani, let's talk about this. We had about a, a, a scenario. Yes. Where a gentleman's wife amekuwa kijitumia miambili daily 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 if you do that math yeah <laughs> probably not for all the the entire marriage of a, that's yeah. over that's, a decade that's 6000 a week a month it's yeah. enough salary for okay let's just start here welcome to beyond church walls my name is Kerry Kagiri. <laughs> my name is Mr Cole and the beautiful Maria Maria ushe ibia mtu ume date just tell us the truth <laughs> it's his right to provide for me so i i take i'm taking both our money i mean when you're dating it's our money again mm. Eh? He's supposed to provide for me. Na kama when he's you're not dating. Providing, eh, si tuna practice ni prako and then ndio tuinge ko. Try Zex after ndio tuinge to the real thing, to the real deal. That's but me, I don't think it's yeah. stealing. What were you, you providing for your wife during dating? <laughs> Nothing, just dates. When we go out and pay the bill, when I'm able to. Sometimes she will. But hey. her hair was her work. Hey. Si kuna wazazi. Okay. Au hey. kuna mpya girlfriend allowance? Hey. Girlfriend allowance and I'm not even earning. Lakini wewe una data je bila kuana? <laughs> ROI return on investment. <laughs> Let's talk about this story by the way. Mm. So this wife sending herself about 200 bob yeah. So this sends and deletes the message. So this mm-hmm. guy is wondering. Hi. My M-Pesa Besha balance Shakwa. is not mapping. Sini likuwa na 1200. Mm. Chop my money. Sini likuwa na, you know. Yeah. Mm. What do you guys think about that? What what would lead, and we want you also to comment. Please go to the comment section and let us know. What would lead this wife to feel like she needs to steal from her husband? Mm. Delete the message. Yeah. Uh, Blood that the husband is not providing enough. Kuna, kuna ili ana provide, as you may provide unga. Mm-hmm. Ntacha 50 bob ya skuma. Amatacha 30 bob, uh-huh. alafu wa jiarenja, alafu mpate food on the table. Mm-hmm. And I think, I'm thinking, this, this particular lady decides, man, atuwezi kwa tunakula hivi everyday, ama you're not providing enough for me, so wacha ni chukwe. Na kwa sababu ni kikuliza hauta ni pair, let me just take it. And because I know it will bring chaos in the house, wacha ni delete your message. Because me, I don't want you to go to work angry. Now what let if, okay, you. what if anampatia bado? Mm-hmm. Now what if I'm nyimi pesa yote? I think the wife is greedy then. Kuna tutu vitu maybe anafanya. Ama hata apendi u boys. Hey. hey. Na mme wana. Do you, do you know there are people who are in marriage that are, they don't love each other? Why did they get into it in the first place? Because marriage is not for love. Marriage is for so many other things. <laughs> Papa <laughs> yeah. precious. Let's talk about this scenario. Yeah. Uh, just having all the facts <laughs> together. Mm. This is very horrific for me. It's scary. Well, we don't have all the details mm. um, around uh, what situation led to that. I don't know if they've talked about it Is there any situation not. that can lead to you there being stolen for by be. the person you sleep with on the same bed? There should not be. Yeah. And the fact that you have to even clear the message, it pokes holes on, on the entire thing. Whether there is genuine need or not, that's actually just theft. Yeah. Period. Mm. Because you see, it's one thing if I send myself money and I leave the message there or even have the courtesy to tell you yeah. I send money, it means there's a real need, there's a real problem and you've, you've not seen it so I have done it on your behalf. But when I have to delete it, <laughs> there's a problem. Next you know? level. I feel like there's a word I learned recently, yeah. uh, not recently but you know, in the, in the recent past, someone called a kleptomaniac. Mm. This is somebody who just has to steal and it, it, it's an insatiable need for them. Yeah. So how I learned this uh, word was this gentleman who we were helping in terms of uh, getting him into rehab, got him from the streets. Mm. And he was giving me his whole life story. Like this one other person who tried to help them the way we were helping them. And what did this guy do? Gets him out of jail, uh, pays for him a bail of like three six. 36,000 in mm-hmm. Eldoret. Mm-hmm. They sit down, they're having tea, and this guy says, Let me go to the toilet. And this guy sees the phones on the table, and he's just like, I have to take these phones. Oh, wow. So he takes the phones for the guy who bailed him out and goes, and this guy calls him. He's like, Hello. And it, this, the thief is always narrating it to me. Just the day mm. he's been saved. He says, Hello. Um, 
nda kupatia anything because hizo simu ziko na such important documents ziko na such important contacts yeah, okay. like losing those phones mm. is less important than like I'll forgive you I will not send you back to jail mm. wow. and he just switches them off and sells for like 5000 what so his insatiable need like he sees he was telling me literally like nikiona tu kitu anything that's movable mm-hmm. i just think about how i can take it and sell it or take it and just you know just take mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. so let's talk about this kleptomaniac do you mm-hmm. think this wife is a kleptomaniac or what because <laughs> what what is she 200 that's a lot of money it's a lot of money what is she spending it on what is she spending it on like guys we have so many questions Around today it. on beyond, beyond church walls but, but i think there is no transparency even in this particular marriage because if it gets to a point that i have to take your money mm-hmm. which because of course when you earn and you're earning and when they in 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 in, the, in marriage i expect that as a husband is he is providing he's protecting he's doing all that he's supposed to do mm. But then again if it gets to us a, a situation that I can't tell my husband that I've taken money from him even the thought itself is a problem that I went to take your phone sent myself money deleted that message and you yeah are you providing for the house you as a woman has it has <laughs> this money that you're using for the household chores uh, not chores the household um <laughs> budget I'm a I'm not that providing. Have any of you ever stolen from your partner? Like I just kind of I'm curious. Miss Jaiba. <laughs> Maria. I've I've known ways to rob <laughs> like like it's not stealing like I get the money money. <laughs> You've taken something. No 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 like um, uh, babe, I babe I need and then like I feel wish I And you don't gonna, use that money for that purpose. Eh. Okay. Babe I need babe I need but you make at some point you feel guilty and imagine at ask to me ile do jo ile nini but you know yeah but as if say photosynthesis i felt like there's once i r- stole but it wasn't like direct stealing okay. it was like um so i'll send for money to do a certain thing with it then i put in an account where i had a loan mm. and so the money just went mm-hmm. but why it wasn't stealing is immediately i told him so i was like eh okay sasa Um, <laughs> the money has been swallowed mm. uh, you know and i just said it um uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. but 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 let's just be honest mm. what is the level of entitlement that you have to a point where you can actually take money and delete the messages and keep that as a secret but also what institution is this mm. that you know how come they're not friends enough to just mm. be clear on on the needs or the lack thereof mm-hmm. so i think that's a really big question for me i, I don't think even this lady is lacking i think to akotuna njaro zake kwa sababu if really i'm taking money to cuz maybe i've told you babe we mm-hmm. need to change our carpet the baby is sniffing this this carpet is worn out ama we need to buy more we need to buy more and the husband and the pup, partner does not see the essence of buying that thing mm. and maybe she decides let me just take 200 every day but the time it gets to 6 6000 i'll have bought that thing uh so it gets to a space where maybe this person has told the spouse a million and one times and they're not getting it they're not getting it that we need to sort this out mm. but also it means that this other this other person maybe the wrath is even was so if i tell him i've taken money mm. but, you see, Maria, in, but it's a need sorry, yes. it's a need okay. it's a need okay. but he doesn't see that it's a need so ran kimuitisha hata ni pair is it really a need mario you're taking me to the back end of this story probably this chick helped him set up the a business mm-hmm. or helped him in but a certain way and now way. he's taking the returns and alone and she's like yeah roi like oh, ata e kitu si azibutisha yeah, direct possibly yeah i'll just harvest my return Pole pole. Pole pole too on the side. So he was never supposed to find out. Like <laughs> is that what this baby is saying? Like he was just never supposed to know she was going to do this for the next Yeah. A uh, few years and put the money in a circle. The mission yeah. And then and, then li- and then nothing, say Yeah. Maybe she wouldn't labda ni venye tu amepatikana. That's why which saying. brings us back to what you mentioned earlier transparency. If we've set out to do something together as a couple and if it's an investment we've pulled money together. Mm 
the same way we started together we should grow it together mm. and when it's time to get returns mm. we should it's it's not we start with you then when i start getting the returns it becomes a private mm. affair i keep you at bay and the you know we don't have the details but if that's the case you would almost want to say she's justified in doing that but still a critical element of marriage transparency is being overlooked so it should be open this is the match we put in this is what has come out what do we do with this money on behind ch- church walls podcast we were going behind the church walls over and you know surpassing what's going on within these four walls mm-hmm. and i want to say that that marriage is in trouble because Big this tabia yenye wanafanya it will go to the children mm-hmm. so as a parent the thing the sins of the mother mm-hmm. are actually going to be transferred mm-hmm. to about the fourth generation same, so it's not only script. about the right now at yeah, oh yeah. i just i'm mm-hmm. stealing 200 mm-hmm. uh what is this saying so about the uh, there's so much at stake and the wrath of this man mm-hmm. right now is going to be really dangerous mm-hmm. they say fear women mm-hmm. um yeah fear <laughs> us fear women fear us but for this one thing that i'm a patikana i'm even asking myself what other things that doesn't the husband know about the wife and yeah. vice versa like pesa fine nime but kana ju mpesa imetoa evidence na mzae ameona yeah but what other things surrounding that particular marriage maybe this marriage is on the rock that's why i've, I've had stories of people saying at as jamongelesha like a week I, i work in an office where women are married and unasikia tu at as jamongel at as jua koaje at Like you wake up in the morning with someone you are in bed with and you don't even talk. Mm. So mm. in a kwatu so this situation ya pesa labda ndio tu amepatikana but mean we maybe there are many others surrounding yeah. this particular marriage that we don't know. For so precious yeah. as a married guy on this set man yeah. why don't you just give some some proper nuggets to to people who are watching and now they are even now wondering uh, <laughs> have you been robbed thankfully i've not who been robbed who is this person i haven't robbed in our situation <laughs> if 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 i robbed that been big trouble mm. but anyway i think one of the greatest lessons personally i've learned in terms of money and finances money can actually be a very sour thing in a relationship mm. big time whether both of you are earning or it's one of you that is an area that you must be intentionally above reproach yeah you have to talk about financial dealings i know of someone who left one morning and came back in the evening with a car with an suv didn't have discussions about it mm. just shows up at home parks a car where did that come from yeah. i bought it with what money our money mm. just like that and it became an issue no that is an issue a major issue that has led to many other things I don't want to talk about yeah. so there's needs for transparency and let me tell you if you're a, a man who's married mm-hmm. you'll agree with me for some reason men's men will not like it me for saying this but for some reason women are such a voice of reason and god has given them a unique ability i hear Hallelujah. them call it instinct mm. they have judgment that we don't most of the times especially even with finances when we want to spend money on something karen has always said Let's hold on to that and think for a moment. Mm. That would feel like a challenge on my leadership as a man mm. and I would feel like it's an attack on my authority mm. and sometimes I'll force my way and every time that has happened I've always come regret. back with a regret. And I never get myself to the place of you are right. It haunts you and you see that's because we we are married and we don't want to see these people as the helpers as a compliment he's not that she's not there to challenge you and make you feel less of a man she's there to make you better in your judgment and decision mm. making help your and so on and so forth mm. so you insist on we need this land and says hold on to it let's wewe unaenda unabai shamba huko hivyo asubuhi unaamka unapata imewekwa x ama unaamka unapata siju kulienda aje ama umenua shamba nyewe kuna demolitions zinakuja kufanyika now you can't come back home yeah and there's so talk about these things listen to your wife not because she's better she actually could be but because god has brought you together because two are better than one for they get a good reward for their labor but importantly na hii sana sana ni ujumbe ya kina dada draw the line between needs and wants okay and make them very clear for example a carpet might be yes it's it this is something we need to have but there could be more pressing needs 
where, where are you taking a nice clean where carpet are you, for visitors where are you to taking come into a nice house? clean carpet to a house that has not been paid rent for so we need to define and say this one we can be without for now maria this one we can wait this one can hold on because you're also learning to live within your means and your budget and uh, <laughs> you're not happy about that in it were the last of the eye <laughs> <laughs> the pride of life <laughs> <laughs> and all those things the bible say are of this world because mm. sometimes it's just pressure you visited a friend and you saw they have an aquarium their table is aquarium so oh that's so cute now you come back home and you're pressuring your husband to bring an aquarium to a house that does not have even security yeah any security enough i love the priority checking this but let's do this guys in yeah. our marriage let's have the transparency if you guys need uh, someone to be able to be there to mediate yes i feel like what when to panga best couple after yeah. one year me do everything yeah. about marriage mm-hmm. sasa mm-hmm. you know so if you did about to be there in the middle to talk about the needs that are mm-hmm. not being met um if your wife is a thief or your husband is a thief uh, get help because mm-hmm. this person could go to jail mm-hmm. sometimes they are not sleep stealing from you they are stealing out there and bringing it home Oh. Eh. Wana ibia clients na kuleta vitu nyumbani. Mimi unajenga na pesa ya watu, blood money. It's a lot of things. But also this just leads us to the point of where is our salvation? Are we not afraid of that God who calls us? There's no justification for stealing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no da- justification for None robbing your partner yes. the person you're sleeping with in the same bed. Yep. Um there's no justification for robbing your employer. There's no justification for taking something that does not belong, belong to, to you. you. Absolutely. That's why we're going to end this one. Please help us because this scenario we have thought about it in all angles. Uh if we get a chance to meet these people and find out what is the real story, mm-hmm. we'll just back it with it as you know those advertisements for the prince of Zwiwapi mm. and his bride <laughs> watch on <laughs> www.beyondchurchworldspodcast.com yeah. yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. for watching adios